Dear babies of God, we have seen the mighty God setting in his own word, blinding the smart, educated and religious people of this present age, but revealing it to us, babies such as will learn, babies of God, we cannot and we will not listen to any other man's word, we do not care, it's a message, these tapes, or nothing. When he come the first time, he was a man. When he come the second time with a double portion, he was a man. When he come in the form of John the Baptist, he was a man. When he come in our age, he once again revealed himself in a man. He is now revealing himself in flesh yet again in each of us. His word, loving bride. We have obtained it in our hearts. Our minds and our souls are laying in the presence of the sun getting ripened. Because sheep want sheep food. That's what we live by. Every word. Not just a word now and then, but every word that proceeds us out of the mouth of God. That's what we're living by. We are born sons of God. Filled with the spirit of God. We always were sons of God. And we always will be sons of God. There is no way to separate it because we have eternal life. We never did begin. Neither will we ever end. We have thinking in man's filter, his words, his message, his voice, and it has given us a holy man's taste. We have tasted of the heavenly things and received that word in our hearts. We have seen it manifested before us, and now we see it manifested in us, and our whole soul is wrapped up in it. There are some that are looking for someone else to reveal more to them, more than what is on the tapes, more than just Malachi 4 to lead them, but he told us it has come down through Luther, then Wesley, and even the Pentecostals, and now it's in the eyes. Prophetic Malachi 4. And there is nothing else left to come but himself coming for his bride. And she looked back through there and seen that, seen somebody in white marching forward, and behind it said, it looked, said, Brother Branham, it was you, and said, marched in there, said, behind you was people of different colors, packing banners, Georgia, Alabama, all different kinds of places marching forward, coming up into the headship to where Christ was being revealed in the vision. Oh, hallelujah. It is the word itself in our hearts, and it is drawing us to it. We spit out anything that says there is more than just Malachi 4. There are mistakes in the message. The days of one man message are over. It's denominational and it's anti words to listen to a tape at the same time. We simply don't want it. We live only by the word of God. Every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God for this age that is our thought. Understand the tape ministry is not for everyone. To any ministers at any place, any time, this is not directed in disregards to your teachings. This is not even directed to your sheep. This message and all other messages that he spoke were directed to us. His congregation, it's not for your congregation, unless they want to receive it, but it's directed to us, his congregation. I have been given the right to feed his sheep, and I would only do the very best of my knowledge in giving out the right food that I know for sheep. I would like to make something perfectly clear once more. I know many are saying these things are simply not true and are being said to deceive and misled the people. I am against the ministry of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. I have never said or even thought that in contrast I am ordained by Brother Branham to be part of that ministry. So how could I deny it? Next one. I am against going to the church. I have never said, thought or believed that we are not gathering in a building to have church because we are under construction and have no place to gather. But if the Lord is willing, we will be gathering when the construction is finished. 
You must listen to the same tape at the same time each week with Jeffersonville to be the bride. I have never said, believed, or even thought such a thing my whole life. I have said, press play. To the ministry, I have said, put pulpit and play tapes. But yet, many ministers are telling their people such things, knowing I have never said or written anything like that. They simply play fear in the people and lie to them. You must ask yourself, why are so many ministers against listening to the word of God at the same time? They said it is wrong and denominational for the people to hear the tapes at the same time. Was it wrong and denominational when Brother Branham was here and did he did it? Do you think if the people were streaming them all at the same time, they would be against that and say it was anti-word? Something is wrong. God has provided his bride with a filter. It is his word, his message, his voice, the word comes to his prophet. The prophet is the interpreter of his word. It has always been a one-man message and never a group. God sent his Holy Spirit to lead his bride and that Holy Spirit will point you to his prophet, the one he chose to lead his bride by his word. God can never change his program. He has always led his people with himself, veiled in human faith. You are invited. Come be united with a group of people that believe every word is the word of God spoken through his seventh angel messenger. As we hear a thinking man's filter at 2pm Jeffersonville time, Brother Joseph.